folks, welcome back to my kitchen. One of my fun things to make whenever I've got guests over is guacamole. It's sort of my go-to appetizer. And coming from Texas, I make mine a little spicy and a little bit different than the average person makes it. But uh, actually, my friend Joey Chipetta has a different opinion about it altogether. I would call it avocado salad. Thank you, Joey. Uh, now, before you got here, I actually did some prep work. I took one medium to large white onion and I chopped it up. It's about a cup worth of onions. I also took one medium jalapeno and seeded it and sliced it up. And again, you can put as much or as little as you like in there for the jalapenos. I have two limes. One lime I fully juiced already. The other one I sliced half of it in half to use for a little decoration on my guacamole. The other half I'm gonna save. I'll add it in if I feel like I need a little bit more. I also have one large tomato or two medium tomatoes. You're gonna take the seeds out and chop that up. Now Nice and finely like that. Then I also have about a fourth of a cup of cilantro that I've chopped up as well. Now some people, like my little brother, absolutely hate cilantro. Hate cilantro. So um, make sure your guests aren't that category of cilantro haters um, and either put it in there or not. I actually love the flavor myself. Then a few extra extra things here. I've got a half a teaspoon of salt, got a half a teaspoon of cumin, and that cumin is what makes my guacamole really great guacamole. It's avocado salad. And then I have a half a teaspoon of chili powder as well. And then the last part of my dish are the avocados. I actually would normally get three large avocados, but they didn't have really nice ones today, so I got five sort of smaller ones. When you're shopping for an avocado, you want a nice firm avocado, but you also want to be able to push on it and have it give a little bit when you push it with your thumb. And that means it's just ripe and not too ripe. If it's really, really mushy, it's going to be a little brown on the inside, which you're not going to like. What I will normally do is I'll cut the stem in off, just a tiny bit of that. Then I'll do a nice little circle all the way around the seed, which is in the very middle. And I'll just twist it off just like that. And then with my spoon, I will take and just take the flush out and put it in my bowl. And you can see it just scoops right out, just like you're scooping ice cream out of a bowl, just like that. And with the second one, sometimes I'll take the stem and I'll do a little whack of that seed, but for smaller avocados, it doesn't work quite as well. So I'll just dig around that as well and pull the seed out, just like that. And then I'll get the rest of the stuff in there as well. And now I'm good to go to assemble everything. So what I have here, I'm gonna put in my bowl my onion, one cup of chopped onions, it's about a fourth of a cup of cilantro. I've got my one jalapeno goes in there. I love my jalapenos. My tomatoes, seeded tomatoes have been chopped, go in there as well. I've got lime juice, pour that on top. And I also have, again, I've got a half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of chili powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now a little tip here, if you wanna actually make this in advance, you can do all this part in advance and not peel your avocados until just the last minute so they end up being as fresh as they can possibly be. So you can wrap this in plastic, put it in the refrigerator, and then when your guests come, you peel and put your avocados in there, you got a really fresh guacamole. So what we're going to do right now, however, is I've already done this. I've already peeled my five little mini avocados. I'm going to put those in the bowl here. And I'm just going to take a nice big fork. I'm going to mash these guys up. It's going to take me a few minutes, so I'm going to jump to the end. So I'll come back in just a second as I get through mashing these guys up. And that is the finished product. Yum. A little taste here. Mmm. That's good guacamole. Avocado salad. Really, Joey? You can get our recipe on our website at waynesweekend.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you get this idea and a lot of other fun, entertaining things in the future. And you're going to come and actually try some this time now, right? I'll try it. It's avocado salad.